a the latest version of OpenFlow introduces a new feature that fixes an issue and introduces a new feature. So in Kubernetes, what we would normally do is we would add, uh, let's say, free API parts and when clients connect, they will then get evenly distributed across all those API parts. But we're using WebSockets for most things. And that means that a client stays connected to that API part uh, at all times. And that means that if one client starts uh, sending a lot of messages and putting a lot of work, only that API node will receive that. And therefore, that becomes a bottleneck. But it also means that all the clients connected to that part will get affected by that one client uh, hammering on it. And all the other parts are bored and not doing anything and the clients that are not affected. So that's not what we normally want. We normally want that when someone has a lot of work that needs to be done, we can distribute that across all the parts that we have. So in order to fix that, OpenFlow now supports running in a mode where all requests for doing something, all messages sent to an API part will get sent directly onwards to a message queue. And then all the parts that is started will take off work from that message queue and process it and send the results back. By that, we can then evenly distribute the load between all clients, evenly between all the API parts. But being, by, by, by using a an, an, an message queue, we can now also start using uh, priorities on the messages. So we can now actually decide what is the most important thing we want to do. So let me show you. So in this example, I have one API part, which I have limited to 10 items at the time, which is completely unrealistic. Uh, but this shows how we can add bottlenecks and, and, and illustrate uh, the point. So if I have a test collection here and I add a little bit of data to it, you can see that it's responding very, very fast. I'm getting my results as I would expect. But if I add some entries while, while I'm clicking, I'm still getting relatively fast response times. But if I put some strain on it, you will see that it starts to slow down or even completely hold, which is you know, really annoying from a user experience point of view. So what we can do is we can start playing around with the priorities. So per default, all node reds will work at a lower priority than the, the UI. So if I add the same uh, 20,000 items here at a normal priority, as you can see, the UI is still responsive. I can still get my things done, even though Node Red is also still doing its things. But if I have something that is super important and, and, and more important than anything else, I can get that through with a higher priority than anything else and thereby block it. So. Just to illustrate that, if I add 1,500 items at the exact same time, one with low priority and one with high priority, this is kind of what I would get, right? You can see that the high priority gets processed faster and, and, and better than the low priority thing. Uh, 